thought, I'm Margaret M. Winter, and I say this on these videos because to give you a background, uh, I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41 and brought to Olson, Alabama. And given the name of Peggy Ann Dempsey, and I married a children's, and Peggy was a twin to Carl Dempsey, and um, I dropped off in what is Big South. Our, um, anyway, horrible, horrible. The mother, Lana, of the twins, uh, had killed both the twins. They were born out of wedlock. And I was placed there in, uh, by Joseph Kennedy, the ambassador to Great Britain, um, my uncle George the Sixth, who became illegal George the Sixth by taking down his own brother with lies, along with Roosevelt and the New World Order, which is the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, the Freemasons, of which some of the Windsors are part of. There are people that kidnapped me and have kept this covered up and have tortured me. Uh, now then, on the other tape, uh, I've told about, and the, the lady is, I'm chemical sensitive, I'm allergic to chemicals, uh, industrial and some household, uh, and I've been forced to fed them without trying to tell it on this tape, I've told it before. Um, I have a uh, immune system disorder, and, uh, when I get around certain chemicals, which means the only cure for it is to get away. Uh, and if it's where you're living and you're being forced fed, it's a little hard to do. But over the years, I've been forced fed them. And um, it tears my kidneys, my liver, my lungs, my vascular system, uh, heart, brain, everything down. So I wanted to um, finish what I meant to put on the other tape. I'm going to show you my hair. And I've been kept penniless, all right, clothes, everything. But I did have shampoo with uh, conditioner in it. But when I came here, where I'm at now, January the 12th of this year, so 10 months yesterday or day before, uh, the water and what is coming out of the air conditioning and heating system, this is how they do it. The water, I've never had it messed with before. Uh, but it's combination because, uh, believe me, I've tried. <laughs> I have to go out and buy water and then have conditioner to get my hair to where I can uh, comb it. Um, so I'm going to show you yesterday, and I meant to on the other tape. Part of it's by way of showing you what I'm having to inhale because this is coming out of the air that I breathe, and um, it must have something to do with the water. I don't know. I've never had trouble with water before. Um, but it's, it's killing me <laughs> to the point where I can't uh, live much longer. I can't even get around. So I'm missing what I was going to say, but I'm going to show my hairdo. <laughs> I haven't been to a uh, beautician or uh, anyone in so long, I wouldn't know what it's like, uh, you know, but this is um, showing you the touching. <laughs> well, it's not going to show it. Maybe this will be the new ponytail or something. I can't get it on film. But everybody will be out for this one, you think? <laughs> uh, see, I get through it with humor, joke. Um, I'm going to show my two sons uh, here, Mark and Scott. And Mark is my firstborn. Um, here I'm going to show, um, my father, the real King Edward VIII. And then for the double, 
that married Dal uh, Wallace Warfield Simpson, um, who was perceptive legitimately born. I don't believe they referred to it this way, but back then, uh, that's the way it was. Of course, she had money. She was a divorcee, I might say. And I did want to make this connection. This is the double that married my, uh, that assumed my father's identity in essence for this and became uh, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, which was a lie. He's an imposter. She is an American spy and a divorcee. Now, they use this, and this is not even my father, let me remind you. My father's married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. Sister to George O'Keefe, the artist. And um, I want to go here. Well, let me just go ahead and say this. My Uncle George, who is Elizabeth's father, uh, helped in my kidnapping with Joseph Kennedy, the ambassador Roosevelt. And here they are in 33 planning my kidnapping. I was born in 33, kidnapped in 41. I wanted to show uh, what has happened, though, not just uh, the birthday of uh, Charles uh, tomorrow. This is um, Camilla living like a future king, Prince Charles turning 65. Let me remind you, very illegal. Uh, they put a 99-year seal on their crimes, and they've gotten away with it. And people uh, seem to flock to her uh, and Diana and her two children. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's uh, I hope everybody has to see the truth and what's been done. It's not okay to change history and take out my father. At least I don't think so. What's the point of... Uh, having the monarch system. Now here, uh, they've got their family. They destroyed mine and they destroyed the British by uh, illegal treaties, and I've said that before. They work for the American government. Um, now then, here is Diana and uh, her two little ones. Well, I, I haven't seen my son really but a couple of times since 80, and I don't know if they're alive or dead. I couldn't live if I didn't think they were alive. Um, but my point really in this one was that um, they used um, <laughs> Wallace Simpson, who married an imposter, not my father. She was a divorcee, and she was illegitimate. Um, not sure they brought me over here, and I grew up like I was illegitimate. The twins were. Okay, here is uh, Camilla. She's Catholic, divorced. Catholic and divorcee is uh, Camilla. She's married to Charles. Suddenly, that's okay. They used this against my father, and it wasn't even true. My mother was Catholic, I'll say that. Uh, she'd never been married. Um, Wallace Simpson was a divorcee that married the imposter. Do you see the sickness and all this, and they got away with it? And um, I was trying to think, oh, uh, my mother would have been considered a commoner. Uh, now then, it's quite all right for uh, the Middletons. Turn this around. For the Middletons, um, they considered my mother a commoner, not the Brits. I'm talking about part of the royal family. Um, they considered my mother uh, a commoner, Catholic. Of course, she would have changed uh, for my father to the Church of England. Um, and she's um, Irish. Here we've got Camilla again, who is Catholic, divorcee. We've got the Middletons, uh, who would be considered um, commoners. Well, I guess not now, uh, because Elizabeth rules. Is that it? I'm trying to show you the discrepancies and all this. Suddenly, when they took out the real monarch, which he is, he still is, I am the real monarch, Victoria II. 
and these people are still allowed to live a life that's not theirs and give away British territory to the Americans. And, um, well, I showed you my hair there. That's I was going to show you. That's <laughs> Maybe everybody will go out and get one. Let me show it again because it's chemicals. I can't even comb it. That's, uh, this is the joke. Not the joke about the chemicals, but I started to say this is a 75-year-old ponytail, but I can't get a comb through it, and I'm breathing there over the 